Good morning, Mid-Missouri. It's a chilly one out there. It's only 445 this morning. Temperatures only already in the upper 40s. We're continuing to cool. We've got another couple of hours here of dark and temperatures going to continue to fall until we likely see low 40s and maybe even some 30s by the time we get to sunrise. Kirksville this morning, 37. That's around where we start to see frost in some of those lower lying areas near the ground. The air temperature may be reading 37, but sometimes those lower lying areas near the uh, the, the ground can get to about 32 with some radiational cooling this time of the morning. So we're going to be watching for that. Otherwise, most of us not seeing frost, just some very locally poss possible, uh, possible areas uh, seeing that frost this morning. Temperatures in the 40s generally throughout the early morning hours before we get back into the 60s. Uh, most of that warmth from yesterday staying well off towards the southwest. We'll see more influence from the north, especially with high pressure sliding in to our north and the east. That'll keep us in a northeasterly flow as we look towards Thursday morning. So early morning temperatures, maybe a degree or two cooler tomorrow morning. Again, frost will be a possibility. Looking towards Thursday afternoon, temperatures very cool, uh, still maybe barely cracking 70. And we're going to stick with afternoon highs in the 70s as we get towards Friday. Despite a warm up, we're only in the mid 70s, I think at best. And as we head towards Saturday, you're in the upper 70s. Again, we mentioned frost. Our average first frost is usually about the second or third week in October. So climatologically speaking, if we see it today, we'd be a bit early. Uh, but our record first frost comes earlier than today. So we're in that window. Uh, dry is the theme this week. If you've not seen the seven-day forecast, dry is the theme. This blue here is the absence of any kind of atmospheric moisture. You really want more green and more green than that before we can really see much chance for rain it sticks around the dry air until you look towards the south and east as we head towards the weekend the remnants of ian will be dominating the eastern coast uh, and really the eastern half of the country we're on the very periphery of that we're on the edge we don't really see much chance for rain from this in fact ian may keep us dry it's kind of blocking traffic we've got a wave here that wants to get to us but it just can't because, well, we're sandwiched in between Ian and that wave. High pressure here uh, locally going to keep us dry until Ian scoots off towards the east. And then we could see a wave po uh, push through on Tuesday. But even then, it's a very slim chance for rain. Not a lot of moisture with that wave. Could be just enough to bring us some rain. Today, we're in the mid to upper 60s for highs. And then as we head the rest of the week, uh, we're looking at a lot of sunshine again. Our next chance for rain is very slim, and it doesn't show up until Tuesday of next week.